Oh, that created a laser beam. Isn't that nice? Huzzah! <coughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome once again to the Month of the Fool. Today on the agenda is Thinking with Time Machine. It seems to be a fan-made sequel of sorts to Portal 2. Or I suppose I should say some kind of alternate timeline. Because it seems like Chell's escape was a lie. I mean, that sounds like something GLaDOS would do, but... I wouldn't want that to be canon, because that would kind of ruin the moment, but, you know, just as a fun little fan-made thing, it, it's perfectly fine, you know? Let's see what awaits us, yep. As you can see, this is supposed to be the end of Portal 2, but then... It all goes horribly wrong! Wonderful, isn't it? What the hell? The textures are glitching out. Although, maybe that was intentional. No, I do not believe that was intentional. Then again, maybe that's supposed to be a giant TV screen? Oh wait, yeah, that's probably the giant TV screen right there. Who knows? Maybe it's some kind of transparent screen over the asphalt, the concrete? I have no idea. It's rather weird. It even has a glitchy blinking on the ceiling area. Delightful, isn't it? It's supposed to be suggesting that GLaDOS lied to Chell yet again. Oh, well that was literally all there was to this area. Well, isn't that delightful? I'm sure this next one will have some more meat to it, you know? An actual puzzle. Probably. Wow, it keeps going up. How, f how large is this facility supposed to be? Aperture Laboratories. This is you. You press the R button. And then Q. F? Yep. I guess you press R to start recording, Q to stop recording, and then F to play out the recording. You basically make a clone of yourself, it would seem. And there we go. An exact replica of myself. Crap. Maybe I should stay on the button for longer than a quick instant. Oh, wait. <laughs> well, this would allow me to get a better look at Shell's model. That would be interesting. Oh, it's like seeing yourself in third person, isn't it? It's kind of trippy, isn't it? Take a look at this. Okay, last time departed, January... Okay, fair enough. That's, uh... Kill your... Wait. Oh, you can actually hop on their head. Isn't that lovely? Okay, let's do it. Let me jump on your head. Uh-oh. I may have canceled the recording a, l a bit too soon. My bad. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. This time it looks like she's deliberately trying to give you a boost. Oh, it's not working. What the? There's gotta be a button to press. Q. F. Oh, you gotta crouch. Fair enough. You gotta intentionally allow them to have a boost. Okay, let's see. Maybe five seconds how to do it? Maybe. Go on, clone of me. Use your body. Or science, or whatever. This isn't working. Yeah, this really isn't working. I can actually stare at this, too. 
This shows that it is actually recording. Let's see. Then I should hop up, and then a few more seconds. Ah, that ought to work. Go, clone of me. Now hop up. Thank you. I'm starting to get the hang of this. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait. Have to R. My bad. I gotta remember the buttons here. And then F to play. Thank you, clone of me. Really appreciate it. See you now. <laughs> no, I just had a funny idea. Let's just run around in a circle. And then... <laughs> I don't know why, I just find that amusing. See a clone. I think I'm a clone now. About to say, why aren't you moving up, you lift? Oh, that's just delightful. Nice. It actually assembles it for your convenience. That's awesome. What the hell is that? Oh, okay. What the hell? Oh, well, that's a fine how do you do? Okay, there we go. I guess. Nope, that did not work. That didn't work at all. Oh, okay, I think I know what I gotta do. I gotta press R. Then have my clone press the button. Okay, that'll work. And then press on this button, I think. And that ought to do it. Maybe. I have no idea. Oh, well. That didn't work out so well, did it? <laughs> oh, I may have... I may have misread that just a slight bit. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, I see. Okay. Let's try that again. You do this. Yes, of course. Actually, I don't think it's meant to be like that. I'm beginning to think that I did this wrong or something. Hmm. This could get complicated indeed. Oh, wait. Now I got it. I think I figured it out now. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Everything is perfectly fine. Just keep... Make sure she stays on the button long enough. Yes, yes, that ought to do. Okay. Now do that. You go over there. Oh, I'm about to say. Okay, come on, stay on the button. Oh, I see. We may have a bit of a problem here. Just a bit. Right, okay. I'll just keep the block over here so that it doesn't get destroyed. I'll just save. I'm assuming that once you have two people on that, then it will just go ahead and disappear. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, or something. Oh, doesn't work like that. Yeah, I'm messing it up. 
I don't know. Hang tight real quick. It's actually showing me the solution. Why did I not just look at this? R? Oh, okay. Right, you're supposed to make your clone copy putting the button down. That makes a little bit more sense. Considering you just do it yourself and then that's how you time it. I'm gonna do that real quick. I probably don't need to even fast forward, so never mind. Okay, I'll just record myself. Okay, press the button. <laughs> I'm dumb. Sorry about that. Alright. This is good. This will be fine. I don't like to think sometimes, but that's fine. There we go. Now she'll grab it just like I did. That's how you were supposed to determine that. Sorry. I was a little slow on the uptake until I actually saw that. Say, go up, man. Oh, that's just delightful. You can actually use the portal gun this time. You know, like its namesake, portal. Who knew that was an option? I know, it's just... It's crazy, isn't it? Huh, look at that. Fascinating. Oh. Well, okay then. Ah, okay. I think I understand now. Makes perfect sense to me. But then again, what do I know? Hmm. Oh, wait. How would that work? Oh, yeah, well, 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 I'll probably figure it out. Oh, wait, I can just do this. That works. I figured out the solution by accident. Or on purpose. Either way. Okay, it's actually loading pretty fast this time. I gotta give it credit. I don't even have to pause anything. It's weird that GLaDOS isn't even here. It's quite unusual, isn't it? It's almost like this is being done against her will, which probably makes it more sensible. Even as a fan project, it's good to know that GLaDOS wasn't completely lying. Oh, right. Now I understand. <laughs> That's clever. Clever indeed. Okay. Gotta combine the two. Yep. Two, three, four, and then press the switch. For one, two, three, four, five, uh, that'll work. Okay. Give me a lift, clone. Thank you. Really appreciate it. You're the best. But then again, I am the best. Literally, that's me. Anywho. This looks interesting. What in the hell? What is this all about? There's only one button here. And I can't seem to press down on it either. That is rather peculiar. How does this work? I think you absolutely need a button on that though. I don't think that can be negotiated. Ah. Makes perfect sense if you think about it. You just grab this. Obviously. There we go. Oh. How delightful. Did I even need a clone for this? Seems like uh, everything was resolved on its own. That's weird. Getting through an area without needing a clone? Madness!
It's pure lunacy, I tells you. Uh-oh. Why do I get the feeling I'm not going to like the results of that? Really? Okay, better get away from that. What the hell? The Borealis! That's where it was. We found it! Given that... Well, actually, now Episode 3 or Half-Life 3 might actually happen now that... Now that they did Half-Life Alex and sort of retconned the ending. It might be a thing, but, you know... How are you gonna get this over there? That is a conundrum, isn't it? Obviously none of these are portable. It actually gives you a symbol to show you which ones can be portable. Which clearly is not that. Maybe I gotta slam into myself. Somehow. I have no idea how I'm going to accomplish that, but you never know. Although there's broken glass up there, it's probably a red herring, I would imagine. Okay, let's try this. Wait, what the? Do I not have a clone anymore? I don't have a clone anymore! What the hell? It turned into a regular portal puzzle. This is weird. There's no way to reactivate that either. This is quite the conundrum. How am I gonna get through this? There doesn't appear to be anything to help me. There's the Borealis, but, uh, I can't even land on it. There's nothing to stop my momentum. It just cannot be done, sir. Whoop! Hang tight real quick. Oh. I guess I should have noticed this hole. You were never supposed to solve this to begin with, were you? But what happened to the recorder? This is just weird. The two robots. Are they behind this? Yep. It is those two. What a couple of bastards. Yep, I knew it. They already left. Frick. Keep unlocked. Oh, right. What the? What the hey? Okay, what's going on around here? Wait, can you actually turn her on? Okay, you're actually supposed to interact with this. What the? Oh, that is messed up. That shows what happened, doesn't it? That's screwed up. Well, let's see. X, X, on. What the? Okay, that's peculiar. That shows how everything is operated. So those two jumped GLaDOS and shut her down. So that makes perfect sense. Like I said, even for a fan-made project, the idea that GLaDOS would just flat out lie to you like that after all that build-up would have just been tragic. But this, now this actually makes sense for a sequel. I applaud you, developers. Anyone who may have worked on this for coming up with a plausible solution. Although, the fact that it's an illusion... Although maybe they... Maybe they somehow conked out GLaDOS while she was ascending and somehow replaced it with an illusion in mid-elevator? 
I guess it's possible, but that doesn't make it likely. It's a little bit convoluted, but I guess I can accept it. I mean, who says it has to make the most sense anyway, right? Now, what am I doing about this? Oh, probably this. SOS. Find time machine back to January 20th, 2021. Okay. That's interesting. Oh, good. You can actually just give yourself the solution. That's nice. Guess I probably should have done that first. Sorry. This is all Greek to me. I'm definitely going to come back to this one after I beat the Mel stories. Hell, go with a prequel, then follow it up with a sequel? Both fan-made projects? I like the sound of that. But then again, story Portal Stories Mel may not even be a prequel, considering that it ends up under the facility with just a core left over. It might be the it might be a sequel to Portal 2 under a different perspective. Which would make it interesting in and of itself. Two sequels in different perspectives. One of Shell's perspective and one of another one named Mel. Either way, it's interesting to think about, isn't it? At least I think so. Oh, that's just beautiful. That's beautiful right there. Let me guess. Okay. Hmm. Well, at least that's not a problem. <laughs> I can't activate it anyway. Obviously, I can't get up over there. There's got to be a way... There's got to be a reason why I can do this. Otherwise, that would just seem nonsensical, wouldn't it? Are there any portals anywhere? Oh, wait. Of course. Duh. Now that I've got this back, thankfully, I can just give myself a lift. Could not be simpler. I didn't even have to make her stand either. There we go. Excellent. Oh, two of them. Well, that's wonderful. That's uh, dynamite. Let's just go ahead and shove them both through the hole there. Because they're probably going to get emancipated if I go through this way. And we don't want that. We do not want that at all. Thanks, clone. Really appreciate it. Yep, that's what I thought would happen. Grab this first, and then bingo. No problem. Oh, I see. Hmm. Ah, that's interesting. See? Totally simple. I definitely didn't do that by accident. It was completely intentional, and I will ignore any claims of the contrary. That's what heroes do. Let's see. Oh, okay. Just three of them all at once, huh? Lasers followed up with toxic goo. I'm sure that'll be that'll be helpful, won't it? Oh, that's delightful. That's real delightful right there. Is there a way to get them down there, or do I just have to get them all manually down? That is the question. Is it not? Let's see what happens when I try to get them down by myself. Oh. Emancipation grid. Fair enough. And here's the question. Can you get them down there safely? Ah, crap. Come on. Activate again. I'm going to experiment a little. I think what I have to do is... I have to get my clone to grab one of these. Okay, it is recording. And then I just gotta make her drop one of these. And then drop, then pick up this. Just to make sure, let's have a bit of a delay. Drop that. And go over here. A little bit of a delay. And then drop this one. Should be simple enough instructions, eh? At least I think so. It's simple at the face of it. But how, am I, how is it going to execute? 
We shall have to see, won't we? Thank you, me. You're the best, me. Here we go. Excellent. Piece of cake. Although the cake is a lie, so maybe it's actually the most difficult thing ever. Who knows? Piece of pie. But then the pie is fake. If you think about it, the cake is a lie, so have some pie. But the pie is fake, so have some cake. That was something I thought about randomly quite a while ago, though. They happen to rhyme with each other. Oh, that's delightful. What that's for, I have no idea, but we shall have to find out, won't we? Oh. Well, that, ob that is obviously toxic goo. That's there to kill me. Yeah. Never would have figured that out, huh? Anyway. Oh, I see. That's delightful. Those are obviously deadly lasers that will kill me in an instant if I step on them. So probably don't want to do that. Look at that. That's a button on the ceiling. Isn't that delightful? <laughs> uh, what are we going to do about that? There's probably some way that you can get up there. Obviously, there are no portable buttons up there. I mean, there's no portable surfaces up there. Like I said, they do take the time to make that swirl to show you which ones you actually can portal into. And of course you need a button to activate these particular switches because they seem to be electrical in nature. It has to be a conductive current. At least that's what I'm assuming. So is there anything I can actually interact with myself? Because having a clone isn't going to do me a damn bit of good. If I can't even interact with anything, then again, maybe what I need to do is give myself a boost. That might be it. No clue, though. We'll just have to wing it. Thank you, clone. Say. Me up. Oh, that works. That's delightful. What did that do? That pushed down a block, didn't it? Yep. We got ourselves a block here. A blockhead, but still. Oh, that's just wonderful. Wunderbar. Hmm. Okay, that might that might pose a problem here. Maybe I gotta somehow mime myself grabbing the block and doing something with it. Okay, and then throw it down here. Now that might be plausible. You basically have to go on faith that your clone is going to understand the instructions properly. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it just took a little bit of finessing, but it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Now I gotta get the clone to go over here. Shouldn't be too big of a problem. See, you just gotta learn how to cooperate. Even with something that is only there in theory. Grab this cube, please. Thank you. There we go. See? Could not be simpler. What did that do? Oh, that created a laser beam. Isn't that nice? Isn't that just grand? Now I gotta redirect it somehow. How I'm gonna do that, I've got no idea. There's no portal surfaces. I mean, theoretically... 
If it had a redirection cube, we could do something with that, but... Okay, there is one. Awesome. Okay, fair enough. So we gotta do the same thing in reverse. Wonderful. Unfortunately, I'm all out of time. So I'm gonna have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like cloning, and I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. What am I doing? I forgot to press use again. See you later. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.